Hello. Hi. Hi yeah, Diana and I um, feel just to do a video today to share with you all about what is um, happening in our lives this year. Because um, I got a, a interview question recently about what is one of the most inspiring things about 2019. And I know I have I can think of some things on top of my, my head, but a I few also things. a few things. There are a few things. Yeah. yeah. But I also thought um, yeah, Diana has a lot to share, so we just thought to do a video today and yeah, share about it with you all. So about a couple of things. Technically speaking of inspiring things, mm -hmm. uh, although there are quite a few things on the plate. We're actually packed in terms of what's happening, but two two things that are in my mind. And first is uh, first is Awakening to Love event that is going to be happening in August, August second to the sixth in Utah. And the second event that is also really big and inspiring that is on my mind a lot it has been is uh, the documentary Francis's documentary movie to take me home take me home yeah and uh, and somehow whether and I don't even know if you Francis know but uh, they actually not too far from each other and awakening to love actually uh, in a way, Awakening to Love comes hand in hand with Take Me Home documentary, and you may not even know that, but uh, but we were talking about what uh, you know what is the inspiration behind Awakening to Love, and uh, and I I I've shared a lot lately that uh, everybody knows that I talked about the the song Kurt Cobain song. Mm. Um, uh, it's called where 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 did you sleep last night <laughs> which is really symbolic and pr pretty much that's what's known technically it's known to be the inspiration behind awakening to love but actually that 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 song is what launched awakening to love but prior to it there's a lot a lot a lot it was actually a long process of many 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 events that were just percolating and that song was just the last drop. But if I have to think all the way back to where actually where the original inspiration came from, I would it actually rolls back to um, to Take Me Home documentary when it all started in uh, I think 2017, about two years ago, yeah. around this time, and that's when. Pretty much, it was the beginning of um, Take Me Home documentary, and at a time, it was the actually, it was about to actually happen. It it was actually it was confirmed that it was going to happen, and you were gonna start filming that documentary, and uh, and you started to actually actively go for it and prepare for it, and uh, and I just so happened I. Somehow, although I was never an official member of a movie team, I happened to be around it, like even even then, from the beginning, and I was participating in all the talks. And overall, I, I, I feel like I was really, I happened to witness like the whole process, even from the beginning, even. Well, to where it's at. Like I don't want to say till the end because it's not it's not over yet. And uh, and something about it at a time, as even like as even during the filming, I, and after the filming, the actual filming was complete. It was something that um, somewhere it was really like it touched my heart in some way. But although I could never point a finger what is it precisely, what is it exactly, mm -hmm. but it felt at a time that even just to, to be able to just watch it and to witness the whole process and Awakening to Love also, the, the core, the inspiration behind Awakening to Love, that everything that's mentioned in Awakening to Love context, in the context of, of the event, even the logo, even the name, 
it's all it's all there because it touched my heart mm -hmm. even even the logo and even I was asked why is the two instead of TO because it touched my heart mm -hmm. so there's no other other reason for it and even and speaking of what touched my heart like the documentary the documentary actually not only it touched my somehow it just touched something in me from like from the very beginning but but it also I have to say that it continued to do that on a consistent basis up until up until today and I want to say more that I actually haven't seen the end result so it's not really the documentary it's not really about the product and in a way I would say I don't even care the effect it because actually I have no doubt what it's going to be it's going to be like exactly how I feel about it now but the whole process behind it, I, f I always felt that it's something that's actually unknown in a way. I would say it's something, it's unknown to the world, something about it. And, uh, and although it's really hard for me to still talk about it and to say, oh, this is what it is. And uh, this, is, this is what it is. And it's because of this, it's because of that. It's not really because of anything. Like I can't really, I still can't really say what it is. Rather than, I always felt it felt very expensive, and it felt really new. And it's not in the way that it's a project, some kind of new project, but almost like the way it's done. And it's, I the only thing I could always witness to when that was actually that I could say this is what I actually saw. Like I can actually say almost in a for the lack of a better word, concrete, just the, the care, like the way it was done with so much care. And when I say care, it's not so much worldly care, it's because it was gu like based, like guidance, so much care and e each direction was done like through guidance. And that's what I mean, care. And, uh, and needless to say that we, like anyone who followed a little bit know that you know you have no expertise mm -hmm. with making a movie and so everything was done like on the basis of guidance and on the basis of precise guidance because you, not only did you have to make a movie yourself but you also had to find a way to direct a full team to be able to fulfill their part too perfectly and that's what I mean care and that's the only thing that I can actually put in the, like precisely mm -hmm. Like say this is this is what I've witnessed and but I don't know why it just felt so like it it's like like it felt like even for me witnessing that was emotional it was an emotional experience mm -hmm. but but even but that's just very ba basics because there's also something that I feel cannot be explained and neither it's meant to be explained either it's it's just meant to be experienced mm -hmm. and so I just wanted to ask you if there's like whatever, like just what's, yeah, what's, what, where is it at if there's mm. anything and, uh, mm. and I think the other, maybe we, we can, if we get to even today, I thought maybe we can, uh, th maybe it's lately and I just see it through many different other angles that just been a theme of worthiness mm. and maybe somehow we can also explore that yeah. and maybe I thought maybe you have something to tell to tell about it even with the if, like recent happenings mm -hmm. as sure, well because sure. it's been somehow it's just been in the mind a lot right so yeah thank you for trying to describe what you witnessed because you put in a better word that I can because I I can't even it's hard it is very hard to say what what this movie has done for all of us and you have been someone that just witness and give everything you have to support energetically and whenever you can so you're not necessarily very hands-on with the project but not at all in fact not, right, at, all. not at all but when, with the ones who are actually uh who have been very hands-on with the project it's uh, yeah i can't even put words in the movie carries so much weight just by the fact that 
whatever everybody has has given to the to the project they give all their heart all their devotion all their care and the willingness to follow the spirit and undo anything that they think they know anything from the past that is not present anymore and because of that everybody has transformed so much um, in terms of the, the mind and it just and it shows you know the care and the attention like you mentioned really is the care that the spirit gives us in, in our healing and also the willingness we have to, to allow the spirit to operate <laughs> us yeah. on the mind through this through this precision through this project and it is just a very even with the professional um, uh, filmmaking experts that I'm encountering with right now because we reached the, the very final post-production phase of the movie um, we have done as far as we can and we, we bring it to the professionals now but even the ones who are guided to come to our life to help with this movie and it's very interesting for me to watch it's almost like this movie requires to let relationship lead the way nobody can do their job if they just want to get the job done the movie just refused to finish mm -hmm. unless something you know any kind of i don't know patterns that blocks a, a, a true connection in a relationship is looked at mm -hmm. so with when i work you know with the people from the community it's relatively easier because our purpose is very clear we're here to, to heal we're here to go toward each other we don't let undercurrent be pushed away and yeah but when we started to work with the people who are purely in the film industry they have no interest in develop any kind of heart-to-heart -heart talk yeah or open their heart to you if the things if they're frustrated they just basically saying this is how it is or okay i do it your way but you know with anger or with you know it's it's just the way things are done but i yeah but the movie cannot be finished like that it just it, it can't i can't i can't accept that either so yeah it's interesting for me to go up, approach those people who have no invitation for healing and so yet what do you do but you had you had to i, I, like, have to. I know I I have you to. had to it's not only exactly like because like, things will present so. itself that nobody can move forward unless you either just uh, just get things done with conflicts or disagreement of the vision or i i choose to just put it all on pause until we really talk heart to heart about why about what where i'm coming from and at the beginning i didn't really feel it's even necessary to share what my life is about mm -hmm. it was not necessary because it's not what it was essential to get the, the, the thing done but it is very essential in the end what i realized is that you have to i have to share everything mm. in order for this other person to be able to give me quality which which i also realize quality can only come from peace of mind there is no quality in any anything that people done no matter the kind of expertise they have so in order to invite the quality and the care from the other people i have to give everything i have and say we have to we have to reach we have to meet we have to meet at such a deep level in order for us to meet with the quality of the work and and i think that's in the end is not the end result that matters but is i think something is requiring that that mm -hmm. kind of quality of relationship and the process um so that is very interesting and that also make me realize our worthiness mm. we, we can we are worthy to call not just require ourselves to to be at that level of integrity but we are worthy to call the world to meet mm. us in that matter and right and and actually they do want that they they probably just don't have a way to know how to completely be open and feel safe but there is a way to call their yeah their their own love out through the the spirit and through the work 
So it's kind of like um, a process of finding out what we're worthy of and how the spirit really works with everybody and all the symbols. Mm. It's a very rewarding process. Right. So. That's great. Yeah. And and right now, I'm, you know, we're at the very final, but I think the, the movie is shot in the Living Miracles Monastery and whatever Diana was mentioning earlier, Awakening to Love is our only event that's going to be hosted in the Living Miracles Monastery this, this year. year. So that is just, uh, yeah, I think that is an amazing opportunity to, I don't know, to come together in our monastery, which is a very devotional and a quiet space, and to join in this purpose. And you, you mentioned that the movie might get... Yeah, premiered or I, shown. I or I sure, I'm I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> the, the pretty much I left it on the terms that I, I mean I would, like to say I would love to. Yeah. For you to be there and to show the movie, mm-hmm. to, it would be to say nothing. But I also didn't want to push it in any way. Mm-hmm. So I left like so. If it lands, it's yeah. it's beyond welcome. It's beyond. So yeah, thank it's, you. Um, it's, it would be like an honor to have to have you yeah. and uh, and take me home <laughs> at Awakening to Love. So event. Awakening to Love is a four day or five it's day. It's a it's two to six. It's a four day four day event. Yeah, August second so, to August sixth. Yeah, okay. second to the sixth. Yeah, okay, 2019. Cool. And maybe you can tell me because I I have never heard about that song. Like what is, oh yeah, um, yeah. Uh, where, where did you sleep last night? Yeah. Um, so it uh, it goes, uh, uh, my girl, my girl, my girl, my girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? And it's a technically, uh, it just it, it just touched my heart because it was just all about all I heard was bring the darkness to the light. Mm. So where did you sleep last night? Mm. So it's like so it's like that it's like spirit just saying bring all the darkness to the light and have no dark areas mm. have no um have no mysteries in your mind bring it all mm. so at all point it's all it's and it's back to worthiness you're wor- you're worthy to know where your mind's at mm. you're worthy to have nothing hidden in your mind mm. and uh and and it's like like it felt like a deep plea because the way he performed it mm. in the end he he just screamed it mm. he screamed like Kurt Cobain, and that was my it was like to me it was spirit just saying bring the darkness to the light you're worthy to have no dark spots mm. in your mind mm. and so at no point should you wonder where you know where's my like mind wandering mm. and to me that was it just touched me so unexpectedly mm. and that was something that I don't know it was uh, be, like it, it was beyond mm. it was it, it was just an, an amazing experience mm. and and that was like it was some some kind of for me it was even a deeper recommitment that this is the only thing that's worthy uh, like for me in my life it's actually the like a final recommitment or something a final wave that this is the only think that is ever worthy in my mind in my life and that's and uh and almost like everything like it's like a final rinse or something mm. like in my mind it stood like a symbolically to a final rinse mm. like all like all the subtleties will be uncovered and uh, and shall be uncovered and need to be mm. and so not to settle down for like for even to have like 99.9 percent it has this like full worthiness mm. of having a completely clean like state of mind mm. that is of true like that is just clean that clean mind mm. and so and that's like and so it points to that level of attentiveness mm. which i think that's also what i think like and I, like yeah i can see that that's what also touched like what touched my heart when I was witnessing with you, like specifically you and your team, it was like symbolically that just that such a thorough guidance. It's like everything, like very very thorough. So much attention is given, 
and it's all just symbolically of that kind, that level of attentiveness that that's how worthy you are to have if it's if it's not like uh, even with your movie like i saw the way you went with it if it's not completely wow this is amazing you couldn't just settle for it. it'll do like okay that'll do all right it's not it's not perfect it's not amazing it's not like it doesn't touch my heart it's all right you couldn't possibly settle so you would go for it you would pray whatever you will do you will like come towards you whatever it would take to 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 go towards this is this is it like towards some kind of an experience mm -hmm. where where it's that kind of experience mm -hmm. wow this this is it like mm -hmm. So, and that's, I feel that's also, that's mm -hmm. what I was, no, I think I, I was witnessing to that. And it's actually, in the end, it's not that uh, you, like, you couldn't settle for that on some level. You couldn't. And you're saying the movie wouldn't even let you. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, you wouldn't want to no. <laughs> either. But it's, I think it's really, really deep because even myself in the past, like just in the past while to be able to speak up in every moment and say like doesn't feel mm. good or like something doesn't align mm. to what I feel like this does not align and when there's a sense of a vision a spirit given vision and so it's just a willingness unless kind of like not settle down as should there be anything that needs to be released and mm. brought to the light we have mm. to do that mm. so it's not so much about final product and mm -hmm. form but if there's something left unspoken if there's something left unseen you don't want to leave it like it's not that you can't but it's like why would you want to mm -hmm. you want to use that every opportunity so fully mm -hmm. to, to for the rinse for that purpose and not settle down and then the effect that's why i'm saying the effect the movie I, I I have no doubt what it's going to be. It's going to, but it's going to be the effect of this kind of, uh, this kind of approach, not even to to the movie, but to life. Period. It's like it's more points to a way of life. Like it's a lifestyle. It's a way of living. It's a way of thinking. So, and I felt that was. I think that's what was. Like that I, I kept saying, and I probably, you heard me say that to you, like this isn't known, this is not known, this is not known in the world, although it seems to be like it's very, like it's the same, you know, making movies it's known, you know, <laughs> there's lots of movies all the time coming out, but it's not, but there's something, that un what's underneath it, it's absolutely yet, it's unknown for the most part, and not only it's unknown, but like even through the movie, I think underneath the whole thing, because of the way it was made, it's not only that it's like, oh, it's not only the message you can, like, it's like, yes, it's possible to live like that, actually. It's not some kind of dream. It's not some kind of, although, like, alter it does feel like it's an alternative reality, but the message is like, you actually can live this way day in and day out and it's actually compromised it's a compromise to live any other way mm -hmm. and it's actually upside down mm -hmm. because I maybe we're a little bit used to it mm -hmm. but if like if each time I think we encounter with the mm -hmm. world so to speak it's like it's so it puts in perspective how mm -hmm. different this thinking is mm -hmm. how radical but it's but it's all because it's just simple worthiness you're worthy it's not only possible there's any other way to live any other way it's actually no life this is life exactly. like like this is the life and you can experience it and it's not only maybe it's really really possible but it takes a desire and day in and day out like practice like that and in the end some anything else is not life and, and nobody should settle down for a settle down so. I, I I think that's exactly it because you know a lot of people say oh you learn so much about movie making you can make another one hmm. that would be so much easier but I I have no interest to make another movie because this isn't really a making a movie for me it is purely purely about listen and follow and communicating what is coming through and that was purely that so in the end I can say that I don't really care 
about making any other movie or making anything period but the practice of being able to listen and follow like you said never compromise anything else even expertise saying it's not done in the past yeah. you have no idea what you're doing this won't work that's still what i hear this is still just like and you had to encounter a lot a from lot the very it. beginning you and i've seen you you had to you encounter a professional upon a professional upon a professional who would tell you this is not possible what you're wanting to do and you would hear your guidance it's just a, a purely impossible when it comes to make like whatever to the actual making of a movie and they'll try to would always try to say like like you don't know yeah I, but we know trust me i'm a professional and you have to always stay with the guidance and in the end it's like of course because it was spirit guided that was very much possible and it was very humbling it yeah was very humbling. and it's not the spirit never really guides to so that is the quickest way to make a movie he doesn't give yeah. me guidance so that i can make a movie in the fastest way and smoothest way possible but he gave me guidance so that all the things that is blocking the love and the peace is revealed in the most efficient way like that mm -hmm. is really i i see you know when I was uh, in one of the studios working with a professional and we were looking at, you know, the work of the past year and a half and he was pointing out everything that could have been done differently that will save us a lot of time. And I was listening to all of it and thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. And I learned so much more. And yet I would do it again because of all the learning and the healing that has occurred among absolutely everybody it has to happen that way. Yeah. And w I was sitting there, I was thinking, nothing went wrong. Nothing could go wrong. Nothing yeah. will ever go wrong if we follow the spirit. And I, I really like was sitting there witnessing that profound experience and the realization that no, I knew nothing. I did everything you know, not according to the book, and yet nothing, everything went exactly the perfect way because of how much, where we are now in terms of the end product, but also in terms of our quality. maturity. Yes. And quality. And quality. quality too. And what we can go on after this project is exactly that we felt overwhelmingly loved by the Spirit because mm because of this um, listen and follow. Like the result of the listen and follow is not anything but you realize how much you care for and mm. how much you're loved. And and it's in the end, the end result and the reward is a, is a total relaxation of the mind that, okay, I will never worry again. Yeah. You know, I will always live like this and I'm worthy to live like this in the most extreme situations doesn't matter who is saying what you and know. I have to say that this making a movie I have to say that this is an extreme situation because like I said I want to point out that it's not your forte in on any level it's not your talent it's not your skill it, it's like you're not known to be an artist no let alone a filmmaker no it was simply something that was guided by the spirit and it it was to be like a well i want to say a big time movie mm -hmm. technically not even settled down like you couldn't even afford to settle down oh it's just gonna be and i think maybe sometimes you heard maybe it's just for the community right or something like that but it was kind of no it's not it felt like a compromise if almost like it's a movie it's gonna be a big time production movie it's an actual movie like it's an actual a... movie it's not like a clip for the community like a homemade you know so it was a big time and you had to think like that and you had and you had to trust then like spirit have to really work through you mm -hmm. and and it was all based on, like this is an extreme situation like it, it's it's an extreme mm -hmm. and so it just shows the extreme of uh uh, well, guidance, mm. like you, how, like in terms of just how reliable mm. gui like guidance is, living on the basis of guidance. Ex and we're talking reliable. like a big time movie. We're talking uh, a 
lot like movie festivals and cans. <laughs> so we're talking big time movie. But this is unbelievable if you think like if you like it it, it is extreme because mm -hmm. it's uh and knowing just how much work it takes too. And uh so it is a very much extreme situation, but this is the extreme way of show like of spirits showing that you can completely rely this this way of living is a hundred reliable percent because reliable. we have been sharing okay we live this way we're yeah. guided to travel around the world this way we're guided we're sustained our bodies are completely sustained all the peoples in the community all the peoples I see are sustained in in a divine or um divine um divine way but when we're talking about a, a worldly product to be made from scratch to the end without any skill or knowledge actually going against um, the professional knowledge if yeah. it is different than the guidance that is really a testimony to to the spirit like the guidance is like you said so reliable in absolutely every single way and in all field is really not saying okay you guys are mystics and you yeah. don't work, you can rely on guidance, but I have a real job to do. Yeah. And I have protocols to follow. I have but no, this this guidance is reliable in all ways and actually much better in all ways, in in all kinds of re for all kinds of reasons. Mm -hmm. To bring it beats the knowledge. Yes. Like if nothing else I can see that like it was like technically is very it was like a death a threat to the ego yeah because it beats guidance for the lack of a better word not that it would even there's a comp real competition but it, it'll all it'll always beats any kind of knowledge like i know anything it technically it's proven that you literally don't need to know anything you don't like this it's just really you can't completely rely on, on the guidance it's not like you need to accumulate skills and knowledge mm -hmm. and need to know learn a lot no you don't you just need like if you have to have one skill to perfect it's just that skill of listening and following exactly it will it will it will like give you a quality life in the end no more no less a quality life that's it that's so, it. that's the best way to put it a yeah. quality life like, is the reward of this yeah. work yeah so so that's so I think it's really inspiring and and yeah I have seen a few different takes of the movie but I haven't seen the final one and mm -hmm. I think I'm saving it yeah <laughs> like um, and, and it may be that I'll only see it at a uh, for at awakening to, awakening love. to love but I look I, I'm saving it so but so I think awakening to love it feels like the same when Diana first heard the the guidance she was really just going for it and it really doesn't matter whether there is a, a, any support or um, it's just like a complete light by vision and that kind of calling and whatever touched you yeah. as the inspiration to say I'm worthy and we are worthy to hear the call we're worthy to allow everything to be healed by the spirit yeah. by God so that you know that is completely upfront and leading the way for for the this big event in the monastery is just one event of the year so i think yeah it's it's inspiring and if you feel something touch your heart as well then that's that's a sign that yeah let's meet there yeah yeah so well thank you yeah thank you so too much such an honor and i really do looking forward to uh, to you thank and you. awakening to love thank you and I'm you. saving it like I'm, I'm, I'm I don't think I'll actually I think that's just that's just the way it is I don't think I'm gonna get to actually see it um, until that moment. yeah yeah so. okay okay so thank you see you see you bye, bye.